Now the next step I want to show you is um, um, we've learned the basics of color. Well, not color, but light and shadow. When uh, let's talk a little bit about color. Um, and um, once again, Sykra, I got a shout out to him because his his amazing videos will go into this way better. But let's do um, let's make this image twice as wide and put the sphere on the left so I can show you a little bit about color. So a thing, the thing about color is, let's say we're to start off with a really saturated color. So I'm going with a fully saturated yellow right here. And um, I need to, um, I'm gonna just, I'm actually gonna switch over to the pencil tool. Oh, I already on one. Oh, oh, the problem is that I was on this one layer right here. Okay, so let's start off with this. I've got a yellow color. It's really, really yellow. Um, now let's go create another color. Oh, what is going on? Oh, okay. I want to save this just in case um, something funky is going on. So let's go another, let's get, get a totally different hue. Let's go with the super red and put it right next to it. And you'll immediately see if you have any aesthetic as all at all that this these colors are clashing huge. The reason is they're both fully saturated. So in an, in two in a single area of color, you want to pick a primary color. So if this primary color is this yellow, if this main if this area right here is mainly going to be yellow, then you want to desaturate any other hues that are going to be right close to it around it and it will naturally look a lot better. So you kind of limit your, your saturation to just one hue. So um, I'm going to go all the way down to just 50%, maybe, maybe more like 55, something like that. And I'm going to fill in this red color and you can immediately see it looks a lot better. So that's the thing is, is when you're choosing colors, um, have fun with it, of course, and, and get creative with it, and don't don't worry about being, things being exact. But when you're putting colors next to each other, you want to desaturate things, or desaturate the non-primary colors. And once again, Sykra's video on color. Um, let's just go, pull up that one more time. YouTube, Sykra. This video right. Um, Oh, here it is. Here's the colors tutorial playlist. So yeah, there's this colors tutorial and there it is. This how to choose colors that work video is awesome. And that's the video I wanted to, I was just talking about. Uh, we don't need to see ads. Okay. So that will go into a lot more detail. That video will go into a lot more detail on, on this whole concept of using desaturated color colors next to really saturated colors. So let's, um,